Hey guys, welcome to Amy's Autopsy Report. My name's Amy. Um, this video, I wasn't going to make a video today, uh, but I just got the brand new issue of Fangoria Magazine. And I just got it today, and I thought it would be a cool video to do to show you guys the new issue, the uh, October 2018 issue of Fangoria Magazine. This is how it arrives in a black sort of envelope thing. Um, I've not opened it yet, and I thought I would open it for you all and take a look at it for the first time with you guys. Now, if you are not familiar with Fangoria Magazine, um, it's been around since, I want to say, the late 70s. I'm not, I'm not actually positive. I have been getting Fangoria Magazine off and on. Um, I've, I subscribed to it for years and years, but my the first issue I got was I, I was in like the seventh grade. So I was 12 years old, I think. And um, I was like, of course, totally fascinated with, with horror and all of that stuff. Um, before I even take this out of the package, look at the difference. This is like a book. This is like a double issue. Um, people were complaining that the subscription cost had gone up. And it was already a fairly pricey magazine to begin with. Um, and so people were complaining that the subscription price had gone up. And it did, but it didn't go up that much. And they, they were mad because you're getting, a, you're getting less issues. But if they're all going to be like the size of a book, I mean, I think it's worth it. So... I will leave links in the description box below for you to check out Fangoria magazine. It's I believe it's Fangoria.com, but I'll double check before I post it um, so that you can check it out if you're interested. Now, Fangoria, like I said, has been around for decades. They were the, like the number one horror magazine for as long as I can remember. And now there are other magazines out. And um, I'm, I'm not getting paid by Fangoria, by the way. <laughs> Um, I have been a subscriber for so long. In fact, the last subscription I bought was right when Fangoria went un went underwent some major changes to their staff, and I stopped getting magazines. I had just renewed my pers my, my prescription, yeah, my subscription, and basically the company stopped producing magazines. So I paid for a whole year and never got one magazine. So when Fangoria came back they actually made the whole situation right. They, um, I gave them my name and information and told them that I had paid for a, prescri a prescription. Oh my God, you guys. This is what happens when I make videos after the work day. When I had told them that I had, I had already renewed a subscription and I never received any magazines, they went ahead and signed me up for a whole year for free. So I don't really know other companies that would do something like that. So this is the first issue, October 2018. I've rambled enough. Let me get this thing out of the bag because I, I haven't seen it either and I'm stoked. Okay, so. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is this a poster? You guys. Old, old, old Fangoria used to come with a poster. Yes. Look at that. Fangoria. You can see that. That is so cool. And it says Fangoria, the first in fright since 1979. Yep, I knew, I figured it was the late 70s. Okay, so already that's awesome. Now check the cover out. I'm going to just do kind of a quick flip through. Um, obviously, if you don't want spoilers, then you shouldn't have made it this far in the video, but... Um, wow, you guys, this is like a book. The pages are not, they're, they're almost like book pages, glossy book pages. It's not like magazine pages at all that are flimsy paper. Um, wow. So you have the inside cover and now if you pick this up off the stands, I don't know if it has the price on here or not does not. Um, here's the back. And here is a glimpse of the inside. 
like I said, I don't want to take too long to focus on this, but there's Fangoria has been notorious for having amazing articles on up, upcoming horror movies, special effects artists, directors, actors, um, just the uh, top of the line stuff in horror. So, um, yeah, this has got like, there's obviously an article on the new Halloween, hence the cover. There's some, it looks like some, they, they've, they got a hold of some unused treatments from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre part two in here. And it shows some, it shows some pieces of the script and it looks like some camera directions and things. That's really cool. Some Texas Chainsaw Massacre art. Wow, this is really pretty amazing, guys. And then this is like a little write-up of the origin of the magazine and who was running the magazine in the, the early days of it. Wow, I cannot wait to... Oh, look. There is a tutorial on how to slit your own throat. That's awesome. This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Um, what else is in here? There's uh, director's POV, Corin Hardy's photos and sketches from the set of The Nun. So there's some cool photos from The Nun. I mean, this is like, like I said, I'm not going to go through every single page because if you get this, I just want, I just want you to get, I want you to understand that this is like a book. The pages, this is like thick cardstock, the cover, and the pages are like book pages. So, and it is like, let's see, 114 pages. So you're, you're getting a small book. Wow. I am super impressed with this. I can't. I might save this for the weekend to read. I'm stoked on that poster too that they sent. Um, old, like I said, old Fangoria used to include posters in every issues, but they were just they were inside the magazine and they were just like two page posters. So I am super stoked about that. Um, so that's going to do it for the portion of the video I wanted to make for the Fangoria magazine. The next thing I want to talk about briefly, I actually posted in my Instagram story yesterday, and I thought maybe I would let you guys in on it too, for those of you who don't have Instagram. I am going to be working on making some of my own short films. Um, for those of you who don't know, I went to film school, I have a creative background, and I've kind of gotten out of it over the years. And uh, I'm thinking about getting back into it. And I've got some ideas written down. And I'm hoping to get one shot. And I don't know exactly what I'm doing. So it's, that's why I'm kind of being a little bit vague. I'm hoping to either do like a monster, uh, monster Bigfoot, Slasher, something. It'll probably be a short film because I want to get it done this winter. And without a whole lot of time to prepare, I basically have to do all of the writing and, and everything myself. Um, it'll just depend on how many people I can get involved because if I'm sorry, the camera's moving. My cat is like driving me nuts. <laughs> um, come here, Wolfie. Um, so I am thinking of, uh, I, I, I wanted to hear feedback from you guys, um, about if you would be interested in seeing the short films. I'm not sure what like avenue I'm going to go with them just yet. I may... Um, I probably will more than likely post them here on YouTube, but I also may make physical copies available for people who would want to buy them. And they wouldn't be really expensive. They wouldn't be expensive like $25 DVDs or, or anything like that. They would probably be, you know, $10 or less. And I'm hoping that if I can do that, I would actually get somebody to do artwork for the cover and, you know, make it as good as I can make it with my own money. Um, but at any rate, um, let me know what you guys think about my film ideas. If you're interested in hearing my creative process along the way, 
Um, or if you just want to see like what happens at the end, if you just want to see the, the finished product, that's fine too. Um, leave me comments below. Um, let me know if you've got the new Fangoria, um, what you think of it. Let me know what you think about my film ideas. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. Kind of an impromptu video. Not sure why I'm doing this. I swear I didn't have any caffeine today, but that's just me, guys. A little bit hyper. <laughs> Um, so that's going to do it for this video, guys. Um, I hope you all have a great evening and I will catch you guys in the next one. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Amy's Autopsy Report.